Okay, so here I am in Santa Fe, New Mexico, actually Lamy, New Mexico, a little 20 minutes out of Santa Fe. And I want to check in. It's been a few days. I was traveling, and then when I got here, I needed to get all the instructions about taking care of the dogs and the house. My brother is off to Finland. Oh boy, Helsinki today. And he's going to a, a World International Music Festival that he goes to every year with his girlfriend who has a radio show, a world music radio show. So that's a big event for her, and he accompanies her. So anyway, I was really glad to have the opportunity to come here. And I just want to talk about my trip down on the airplane. And I had mentioned that I was going to take food with me, and I was so, so glad I did. I ate the food. It was enough uh, fruit. It was hummus, um, my flatbed crackers, it, was, it got all mushed together in the little plastic container I had. You know, I didn't know if I could get it through checkout. I haven't flown in 15 years, so I you know, was checking out all the requirements. It was so funny. I was on the plane, and um, the stewardess, the steward, was um, handing out the little snacks, and I couldn't really tell what it was. I looked in the uh, you know, the magazine, and it said that they were both had wheat, but I thought I'd take potluck, and he handed it, I just grabbed one, I thought, well, maybe they're nuts, you know, I'll get lucky today, there's no wheat around, you know, they had to go to nuts, so, um, but it was pretzels, and um, I was looking around, what can I do with these pretzels, because it was like a hot potato, I wanted to get rid of them, and I tapped the shoulder of the guy in front of me, who was a big guy, and he looked like he could use two bags of pretzels, because he had a bag of whatever. And maybe the other bag was sweet something. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he had, but I was, I was reaching over, and like with the pretzels and tapping, it was just a neighborly kind of gesture. The guy who was sitting next to me in a business suit, he goes, hey, stop, hey, just, I said, I'm just trying to give him some pretzels. Do you want them? He goes, oh, no, 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 he says, just, just put them in there, put them in there. I was like, oh, my God, what a freak. So anyway, I just sat. It wasn't a long flight, fortunately, and I then gave my pretzels back to the steward. And the next flight, the next juncture, I just um, refused the, the snack. But um, in the airport waiting, I had enough, you know, food for, you know, the, the time. And, and I was really glad I do it. At one point, I sat at a little table looking out at the airplanes. And, you know, not having been at an airport for 15 years, it was really quite, you know, I love, I used to really love airports. Such a, like, a unbounded feeling about them. But anyway, so that's my airport tr um, story. And, you know, I would highly recommend going prepared. And then I got here and... Um, it's been pretty good. I had to go out to the store a lot to get all my necessary equipment uh, to not do any dairy or any wheat. It took me a little while to get the coconut flour. I had to go to three stores, um, and I, but I pieced it together. Went to Trader Joe's. There's a wonderful grocery in Santa Fe called Natural Grocers, which is like they took the location that Whole Foods was in. Because Whole Foods was right across from Trader Joe's, and it just couldn't keep up with the competition. I'm thinking, well, how's Natural Grocers going to do this? You know, they all, you know, kind of in the same field. But Natural Grocers has all the supplements, and it's very pure. I mean, I love Trader Joe's. It's very exciting to go there, but because it's kind of a scene. But um, Natural Grocers is like very heavenly, and I got the coconut flour there and, and some other things that I was missing. And I would say the only thing that I've really fallen down on is I got um, to, like a so delicious soy um, ice cream, and one night I ate an entire pint <laughs> as I was working. But I hadn't had a lot of dinner, eh, you know. And my weight, the two times I weighed myself, I was coming in at 124, which is fine. And the reality is I've been a little too busy to eat much, but I will say that in the past, before I, you know, in the past, if I got as hungry as I got, I would grab a carb, a high, you know, kind of a, just a carb, a random carb, and eat. And the thing about carbs that I'm finding in wheat, which Dr. William Davis says, is that it actually causes you to be more hungry and you want more and you're not satisfied. And I would say that on this diet, I'm eating more fats. I got the uh, 
I finally located the tofu cheese, which is so satisfying. Um, I just had my green beans, fresh tomatoes, and my creamy cheese sauce without milk. And, and it was delicious. Almond flour, uh, vegetable spread for my oil, and also the um, soy cheese. And it was plus fresh tomatoes. My brother has a lot of tomatoes growing, which I have to water. Oh, I just remembered I have to water the tomatoes today. I didn't do that. So anyway, so I'm off into town. I have um, to do some stuff with the pets, uh, but I did want to check in. I did want to stay current, and um, that's me reporting from Santa Fe. And then I'm work I'm very busy, so I don't know how much I'll be able to do this. But things are rolling along pretty well. <laughs>